Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do an LED upgrade. So here I've just basically just tested it before I took a video because um, as you may know if you've seen my previous videos, I didn't really have much luck with LED lights. This time it's actually working. So I thought I'll test it out first before I make a video. So just to show you guys what I did get. This is very important. So I got one of these. So that actually makes it work. So normally if you did it without that, it just doesn't even turn on. And that's what used to happen with my ones before. So now that I've got this, it actually works. I'll link in the description box below for you guys. And I've also got the lights here. It's the H7 that I'm doing today. So let me just get this out now for you. So this one I kind of like because it's got less wiring. Um, some of them come with a separate um, positive and negative cable that you need to plug on. But this one's actually just one one fitment. So how this one works is that will connect to this box and then the other side of this one connects to this. So I'll show you guys. So you lift this one up. Take the bulb out. So obviously you're doing it with one hand. So obviously you guys know what to do on this part. Just take that out and I'll get back. So what we're going to do is get this one out. Oh, it does come with zip ties if you do need it. I didn't see that on the first one. But to be honest, I did manage to fit it in and it's not moving about. So obviously you will get two of these in one box. Um, I've just used one already. So how this works is you've got two of these. One's going to be for the light and one, this one connects to the original car one so you just grab this one up and plug that one in there you go and then what happens is you connect the light onto this one so what I first did was I just connected it. So obviously you've got the positive, negative. There you go. So positive, negative. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there you go. Obviously you want to check where the positive and the negative is. So the red is positive. So connect that up there. And what I'm going to do is just test it and see if it lights up. And obviously you can change um, where you want the direction of the thing to be, so I just want it to be straight, I think that gives it a better... So I just want to basically I'll just line it with this straight because my one, that piece is on the bottom. So now we just carefully put this in. So you should be able to tell when it goes in because then it doesn't really move about. And then we push this down. So I just want to quickly show you guys, so that is now in. I didn't have to even replace the black piece, um, the metal housing, but obviously this one's got the black plastic, but I'll just show you guys what I mean, like this here, this part. Because some of them you have to change it, but this car I actually fitted with it. So that's all now in, and then I'm just going to carefully just put all the wires back inside. So I'm just going to do that now. 
So I've managed to just put it in there. There's a bit of fiddling about, but it does go in eventually. Obviously, I've never had the uh, the cover on here. Don't really think you can even fit it. The wires are very long, but I mean, I've never had it. Been driving it for such a long time now. Nothing actually happens, so it's all good. And same goes for this side. So I'll give you some nighttime shots as well. See how it looks at night. Alright guys, so I just wanted to show you guys how it looks at night time. There you go, so you've got that full xenon look. It is, I don't know if the video is doing any justice or not, but it is really ice white. Proper, it just literally just looks like xenon lights. It is really good. You can see. So it works really well. And just to show you guys inside as well. There is no warning lights, so put the keys on. So I'm really happy that you know finally something we can use which actually works. I'm very happy about. Just clean the... so you can see the output there as well. It was very good very happy with that very bright I, I honestly don't think the video is doing much justice but it just looks really good let's see if I do it from the outside if it's any better so you can see how it goes very wide as well so that's quite good and um, yeah, I'm gonna check it out as well do some uh, nighttime driving just see how it looks so I'm um, very happy with that so obviously, no more play light, that's still showing up because obviously I've got no canvas to decode that. But other than that, as you can see, there is no other warnings. So the lights are doing justice, it's working perfectly. And um, so like I mentioned, it does come with zip tie, so if you do want a zip tie, you can do that. Um, I have drove it a bit in the morning, so it's not even moved about, so I'm kind of happy with how it is. If it does move, I've got the zip ties anyway, so I'm going to keep it as that, but yeah out, light output is very good very happy with that so thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe